What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman. Now when it comes to Wanda Maximoff's Scarlet Witch, we've seen a wide array of her powers, both in the comics and the MCU, and in the films probably no place better than her origins in Age of Ultron, where at first she displayed her witch-like metaphysical magic by giving all of the Avengers visions, but by the end was manifesting these red energy blasts. And in the upcoming WandaVision series, most likely we're going to delve further into her metaphysical chaos magic, the ability to manipulate reality and now as one redditor has pointed out based on what played out during the scene in Age of Ultron where Wanda gave them all their visions it may be the case that she's going to invoke World Breaker Hulk in the upcoming phase four and maybe even during her series as a new rumor of Mark Ruffalo appearing in one of the upcoming TV series has just circulated within the last week we're gonna go ahead and break down this theory in its entirety give you the finer points of the argument and then I'm gonna add my annotation to it let you know what I think about this and what's most likely the case for what's going to happen with Mark Ruffalo's arc and the Hulk. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel-related stuff, including a limited edition Infinity Saga box set. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video. And if you want, stick around at the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So this theory originally posted to Reddit, but that's now made headlines on all the normal fan sites, tying Worldbreaker Hulk directly to Wanda Maximoff, her chaos magic, and maybe even an appearance in her upcoming Disney Plus series is pretty straightforward. It goes to say that when Wanda Maximoff administered all of her visions to the Avengers, and from what we saw of them, they all came true. Thor saw Ragnarok, Cap eventually got his last dance, Tony witnessed the decimation and disappearance of half of the Avengers, and in the upcoming Black Widow, we'll see her return to the Red Room. But for Hulk and Banner, we saw no vision at all, and this Redditor argues that's because it wasn't Banner who had the visions, but rather Hulk. And when Hulk had those visions and what we see clearly in this scene, he reaches some of his most angry and best Hulk action that the fans have witnessed. And since then, it's been a pretty downhill slope in Marvel doing him any justice as a character, but we'll get back to that. Now, obviously, Tony Stark calls him out and says that the witch is messing with his mind and then calls him Banner, which he obviously hates. But let's look at Hulk's demeanor during this vision enacted by the chaos magic of Scarlet Witch. If there's something going on here in Hulk's future, that makes him this angry, makes him act like this, and it has yet to be seen on screen, then this could be one leftover Easter egg for what's yet to come with Mark Ruffalo's arc. There's also no denying, and as I just mentioned, that fans have been super upset with how they downplayed Hulk's rage and his strength as an Avenger, where we all assumed he was obviously going to get a rematch during Avengers Endgame, and I made several videos about it during 2019. He never did. Instead, Marvel decided to turn him into Professor Hulk and would have even done so during the end of Infinity War if they felt like it didn't mess up the third act. Either way, and as is evidenced by the hundreds and thousands of comments here over the last year at the channel, this is pretty much the antithesis that is to say the exact opposite of what the fans want and expect from their character, and maybe there's a silver lining here. The Hulk can't grow much from the position he's in as Professor Hulk at this point, unless he devolves. And that would lead us directly back to this rumor about him making a cameo during WandaVision and Scarlet Witch and what's to come of Mark Ruffalo's Hulk upcoming in the future. Now, if you haven't been following channels like mine for the better part of the last six months and to fill you in, the future for the Hulk in the MCU has been unclear. And in Mark Ruffalo's earliest interviews after Avengers Endgame, he had no idea if he was going to continue or not or what Marvel Studios' plans were. Now, a most recent headline within the last month says quite the opposite it, that Marvel Studios secretly reacquired the rights from Universal in full for both the Hulk and Namor, and although Marvel had no comment, that would free them up to do whatever they wanted with either character, both for Disney Plus and the silver screen. And when it comes to Mark Ruffalo's Hulk, he's been on recent public record as well as saying he met with Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios to discuss the future for the character, and while he was trolling in a different interview by saying he didn't know and he may be done, he was definitely just joking, and there's mutual interest there, obviously, from both him and the studios, given how important Hulk is to the MCU and how popular he is as a character. Now let's get back to this rumor that he might show up in one of the upcoming series and what the Redditor pointed out and that we got to see every one of those visions come true in the MCU except for Banners and go back to the scene during Age of Ultron where we witnessed his rage while he was in midst of this vision. Could this mean that in an upcoming series and specifically during WandaVision, when 
when her chaos magic will be at an all time high and seemingly perhaps out of control that she could trigger Worldbreaker Hulk in that series. And I think the short obvious answer is unfortunately no. They're not going to have time to work on the Hulk's arc anymore or even involve him in a show like that when they're working on specifically WandaVision's arc and leading into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. But that leads directly to my next point that Multiverse of Madness is argued to be possibly one of the craziest movies we have ever seen in the MCU, spurning official quotes like, we will see versions of characters we've never seen before, and we know that WandaVision's chaos magic will be heavily involved in this multiverse of madness, specifically the madness part, but I don't think that's it either, and let's think about this logically for a second. If we finally saw Worldbreaker Hulk or some crazy version of Hulk, but only for a second in an alternate MCU scenario, that wouldn't do him any justice and probably only make the fans more mad that that's not the version of the Hulk that we got at any point during the Infinity Saga. And from Mark Ruffalo's standpoint, that's not really the type of character that's worth coming back for if it's only a quick cameo. Rather, they would want to build his arc in a new and interesting way for the type of character that he is, for the type of actor that he is, and what he's already done in the MCU. That's where we get back to my point of saying for him here, the only place to take his arc is for him to devolve. And there are some awesome, extremely villainous Hulk storylines that they could still do in the MCU. Of course, Heart of the Monster Hulk, you could make him Worldbreaker Hulk, or even Maestro Hulk, who we haven't covered much here at the channel, but for which there may have been an Easter egg in Avengers Endgame. One of these more powerful and even villainous forms of the Hulk would be interesting from both the fan standpoint and from Mark Ruffalo to be able to develop the character in a new and interesting way. I'll also make mention during Age of Ultron in some scenes that come up right after this, Banner makes sure to mention that he helped develop Veronica, what we're seeing right here in the Hulkbuster, and that he is against the Hulk as well. That's part of what leads the Hulk to leave in the Quinjet at the end of the film, leading him straight to Sakaar. But the Redditor points out another part of this decision may have been during this vision, he saw what he would become in this most angry form of the Hulk if staying with Banner as a co-entity who didn't want him there in the first place. Now, some people may argue that the merge of Professor Hulk is something that the Hulk wanted getting to be in control and be part of the action, but really who's in control there? We still see Banner's face, we still hear Banner's voice, and it could be that the bonding of the two elements of Hulk and Banner really only served Banner more than it served Hulk at all, not getting to give in to his inner nature and not really getting to be himself. This suppression of the Hulk for, again, Banner's benefit may lead to a reverse reaction. We might get to actually see what the Easter egg was left here, what the vision Hulk had and how he becomes one of these more evil, but most importantly, one of these more powerful versions of himself. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments about all of this. Do you expect the Hulk to continue in the MCU, even if it's for cameos or during other people's movies or Disney Plus shows, and if he does, do you agree with me that the only place to take him now that he's become Professor Hulk is the opposite way and actually do him justice by making good on some of his power levels? I've already read the comments for the last year and a half. I know a lot of you will be in agreement with me, but are there any of you who actually prefer Professor Hulk as a character and would want to see that character continue in the MCU? If you're out there, let me know. I'm all ears, of course. Let me know what you think in the comments, and quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 600,000 subscriber mark. We just gave one away at 550, two away at the 500 mark, and we are headlong into that. Could easily hit that by month's end or next. All you have to do to be entered to win, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell with notifications turned on, leave a like and a comment on this video that'll automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes we're giving away at the channel, like this limited edition Infinity Saga box set. We gave the first one away on New Year's Eve. Eve will be giving the second one away on the second anniversary of the channel in April. If you want to be entered to win either of the PlayStation's limited edition Infinity Saga box set, including that Blu-ray with all the deleted scenes that have yet to be released, or any of the other prizes that we announce at the channel as we're going to 
double down all the way up to a million over the next couple of years and give away a ton more prizes. We've already increased the amount of giveaways here at the channel, and we always give away tickets and DVDs with Marvel having increased their production schedule. There's more of those to give away as well. If you want to be entered to win any of the stuff, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell with notifications turned on. Leave a like and a comment on the video, and because it's truly random, the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners are announced at the end of videos, and if you've missed any of the past winners, no worries. All you have to do is scroll back through the channel, look for the winner announcement and the sub count in the title, click on those, and scroll to the end. My name's Michael Roman. This is Everything Always. Guys, thanks so much for checking out the channel, and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.